how you find out about eligibility. You have to register with the NCAA Eligibility Center. And the NAIA now has an eligibility center. So you have to register with them to, to, be, to get um, your eligibility status. So they're going to take your academics, they're going to take your transcripts and analyze those. And there's core courses. So NCAA Division I, you have to have 16 core courses. And then they take your GPA for those core courses, and, and, and that's what they use. So you may be a 3.9 student, but say your, your chemistry and your biology are a little lower, but you're, you're bringing it up because you got phys ed and computers and, and classes that aren't core classes. So understand, it's your core GPA that matters, and then there's a, a scale with the SAT and ACT. So Division One, it's a sliding scale. The higher your GPA, the lower your SAT or ACT score needs to be. But, but those, I'm going to give you the tools and some information where to find, find out about making sure you do that. But register with the eligibility centers. Your SAT and ACT scores need to be sent directly to the eligibility centers. Hopefully your guidance counselors are on top of this. But these are questions you should ask and say, and at Stowe it's a pretty big school, so you know, are these core courses? And you can go online and check out what, what core courses are through the um, NCAA Eligibility Center website. Okay.